back at the house nine hours later those three clips you just watched were a little bit of seeking beauty the beginning of a vlog idea however that was nine hours ago and i did not film i haven't filmed the rest of the day because i did not have a well thought out plan for this is the story I want to communicate to all of you in there, YouTube. If you don't think it through, if you don't plan it out a little bit, you don't have to write it down, just think it through logically like, okay, this is the story of my day and this is how I'm going to communicate it with you. And so it just shows, even though I'm 900 now vlogs into this, uh, I'm learning that you got to continue to think these things through. Think Think the filming through, think the angles through, think the positioning of the camera, the audio, what I'm going to communicate. And today was a classic example. It doesn't happen too often, maybe once every two weeks where there's a story published, a vlog published that is simply not as uh, story driven as I might like. Boys are home. I know you guys always appreciate a little family update, a little, little family update. This is brilliant in the front yard, shade tent. We don't have trees planted yet in the front yard, so we gotta have a little shade. Just coming to get a little update on the Hi. family. Hi. We're so glad Joseph is home from school. Michael's hey, uh, from his nap. He said he's back from being with Grandpa. Hey, uh, it's a great family moment. Yeah. Papa, Ryan, Papa eats watch this. What eats trees? This is a daily blog, a daily story, a family life. And I know, I just know you guys appreciate a little seeing everyone's faces every now and then. Okay, go. You know, my mug can get a little old. No, it's very good. <laughs> Here we go. Go, Seppy. Go, go, go. Woo! Woo! Ready, set, go. Whoa! I promise I am not making excuses for my performance at the 100-mile race. Uh, I do think the Run, Rabbit, Run, I do think I went out too fast for my first 100. But if you know my personality... I'm not, I'm not going to hold back. I'm not, it's just not in my DNA. And my, as my brother said, who crewed, Joseph, basically, like, we are not built for hanging back in the pack. Like, we were raised on the track and on the cross-country course to compete and to gun it, gun, gun it. Like, my brother was top 10 in the nation in cross-country in high school. I walked on to the University of Colorado cross-country team in college, which is one of the best cross-country teams in the entire nation. And so it's like, this is part of our DNA, is competing. So, the combination of going out a little fast probably led to a little bit of a, what we would call a blow up or hitting the wall, but I am uh, unpacking just a little bit and you can see the vest here and the sweat lines on the vest, keeping in mind that first I sweated through my singlet and then onto the vest. Look at this. Shall I say, uh, <laughs> down here. All I'm saying is this vest is like, well, don't smell it, but it's, it's like stiff because it had so much salt and sodium in it. Anyway, look, guys, I, I, I'm not making excuses. I'm just pointing out facts of speed, going out too fast, the heat, getting zapped by the heat, and then sodium. And uh, a vlog viewer, one of the greatest fans out there, Dave, you had a name for that salt. Sorry, I don't remember it. Like losing salt, I believe. Hypnothermia? Hypnother not, not hypothermia, but hypnothermia. Anyway. Just answered your comments on the last two vlogs from the last two days. You guys are amazing. New people too, man. Welcome and thank you for commenting. It's that's why that's a big reason why we do a daily vlog is your comments, your thoughts, your opinions, your ideas. Oh my I'm in recovery mode. It's the it's the new look. It's the new look, right? <laughs> Gotta recover. <laughs> Socks, See, socks years. and sandals. Listen, when you get to your thirties, yeah. you know things just change a little bit. Yeah, you just don't care as much. Looks don't matter. It's all about taking care of the body after thirty years old. Oh, those kiddos just picking up after the kiddos. Oh, bless you, honey. Love you so much. Thanks, Nana, for everything. You are the best. You are the most fun Nana alive. I ah, love you. She's the rabbit. She's the rabbit. Have fun. Love you, kids.
Dun, 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 dun. That's the plantar fasciitis that, stick. <laughs> that Where is was that? Off of one of our kids' toys, Joseph's one of his From first Goodwill. toys. You kind of hammer it, what? and basically, yeah. I've been using a marker to massage my planter, and it's definitely been hurting since Run Rabbit Run. So this guy is actually the best. I don't know what it is, if it's the size or it just sticks on my foot real well. So you can really, unfortunately, dig into that planter. Really loathe it, loathe it. Oh, baby. All right, where are we going? Corner Bakery. Forgot for a second. <laughs> Corner Bakery. Ba -ba -da -da. Ba -ba -da. No. Nice. There's lights kind of on. You know what we should do, honey? <laughs> we should go check out one of those cool new places on... It looks uh, a little dark. Uh, Hold on. It looks a little dark. Yeah, maybe we're just hitting... No, 620. Oh, I'm... Oh, the bakery is done. So, it's done so. That's why they're sending out coupons. Oh, oh bummer. Too bad. This was like the original Groupon, right? Like yeah. realtors partnering with restaurants. Shoot. I, I just feel it. It's going to be a good On place. what? We're about to strike gold. <laughs> what is I this place? Feel. It's a hole in the wall next to a gas station. A in, Mexican I'm basically bistro. in a gas station. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the restaurant was here first. No, I'm teasing. Um, we've heard from multiple neighbors that this is the best place to get Mexican food. Oh, come on, look. Okay. Two giant bags. All right, here we Life go. Life is good. This is, we're onto something good here. Here we go. Three I know, the camera. Aww. Hello, my love. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, thanks. Appreciate it. I'm sorry, I should have gotten the door for you. Hon, how was it? Oh, it was really good. Pretty amazing. Yeah, it was. Pretty amazing. Just I a would, little haven right there. In the Conoco gas station. A little haven. I never knew. I, I would give it a. Uh, yeah, what would you give it? I would give it an eight out of ten. Wow! Yeah. We're, we're talking hole in the wall Conoco gas yes. station. Yes. What's it called again? G Gar Garibaldi. 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 So. Oh, delicious. All right. This is probably good night. Yeah. <laughs> In case I don't see ya. In case I don't see ya. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Right. We're back. Not good night. <laughs> What's up, true love? Super psych! I told him I didn't feel comfortable saying this till we were like in the car driving away. But I am sorry to say I would give it a two. I First of all, his plate looked like an eight. It was amazing and sizzling. I don't know if you could see mine. I was like, what is this? <laughs> was it was a burrito. A sad burrito. It was like a little, little droopy one. And then there were, she did, the pico de gallo was going to be super spicy. So she we left that off. And somehow there was... I thought I was gonna have like refried beans and a lime wedge and I mean it was and it wasn't like oh this doesn't taste good but I was thinking when the bill came again was a crazy amount of dollars I think it was 31 bucks and 20 cents but I was just thinking that's just about the exact bill when we go to Texas Roadhouse and I get a steak and a salad and french fries and the bread and the butter and we get a margarita to share and he gets a big burger and yeah I would have rather had that tonight now, now that I think about it <laughs> The truth comes out. Maybe my expectations were too high. They Maybe I ordered the wrong thing. Our neighbors really built this one up. No, I'm telling you, three of our neighbors were like, this is the best food. I can't believe you haven't eaten there. And and I think it was good. And yours looked amazing. I didn't, we didn't share because I'm sick, but I definitely was not impressed. Yeah. 
Mine oh, that's was, right. The, even the horchata. Made. I've had, um, everything was made from scratch. The chips were really good. But the horchata, I just felt was a little off. But probably it's, it's really authentic. And I'm just used to, like, the chain Costa Vida horchata. I don't know. Question of the day. Do you ever give restaurants second chances? Oh. If they kind of blow it, whether it's the food or the servia service or the ambiance, like, I love, like, a well-put-together, well-designed restaurant mm. as far as the aesthetics. But <laughs> what do you, do you ever go back to a, quote-unquote, bad restaurant a second time? That's a really good question. And I'm going to, I don't think I do, really. Yeah. If, I, if I was so, so disappointed, like, I think, and also I didn't, I thought we were going to hit gold. And so that's part of why I'm like, versus if we had stumbled across it. Just time out. <laughs> This road is amazing because we're, there's like this brand new sushi restaurant that looks amazing and this new fancy like wine barrel place and then there's like a reptile store. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most amazing street in Denver. <sighs> now we're going to bed. Yeah. Work hard. See, go to bed. See beauty. Love each other. Maybe find a different Mexican restaurant. Yeah. I like mine. I, like I know. I mean, and I love Mexican food. I don't know. I was also starving. I'm not sure what happened. I think... What oh, happened? Wait, was yours quarter, was amazing. No. No, what happened was the corner bakery shut down. That's what happened. That's the problem. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Oh, that is funny. Like Santiago.